Today, I'm going to be showing you the very basics of circuits and how to make an LED light up. What you're going to need are the following, a 6 volt battery, an LED and a resistor whose value we will calculate shortly. I also have a breadboard and some cables to connect other parts of the circuit. Both of these aren't necessary for the circuit to work, but will make it easier for demonstration. First, I'm going to draw out the circuit to show you how we're going to be connecting it. We'll start with the 6 volt battery, and then we have the resistor in series with the LED. The resistor ensures we don't burn out the LED, and then we connect the other end of the LED to ground, which in this case is just the negative terminal of the battery. So as you can see, the circuit is pretty simple. It's just three things. The next important thing to find out is what is the maximum amount of current that the LED can handle? so that we can calculate what our resistor value should be. After a quick Google search, you can see that the maximum amount of current on the basic LED is 20 milliamps. So let's try to go a bit under that and use 10 milliamps as our conservative value instead. Next, we're going to use Ohm's law to figure out what our resistor value should be. The classical equation is V equals IR, voltage equals current times resistance and rearranging for resistance, we get R equals V over I. Then we just plug in our values, 6 volts over 10 milliamps, but since we're using SI units, we have to convert milliamps to amps, and in order to do that, you divide our 10 milliamps by 1000, and you end up with 0.01 amps. The answer here is pretty simple, you just have to shift the decimal places up top and you get 600 ohms. So ideally we would use 600 ohms, but since I don't have one, I'm going to be using 1000 ohms instead, which is even more conservative since it has a higher resistance value, so it's sure to be safe. If you look closely at any resistor, you will notice that they have these color-coded rings. In my case, the colors on the resistor are brown, black, brown, and gold. In order to figure out what these mean, you can reference a resistor chart online to figure it out. So following each ring in my resistor, first up we have brown 1, black 0, brown 10, which is the multiplier, and gold, which is the tolerance of plus or minus 5%. This tolerance means that each one of these resistors should be within plus or minus 5 ohms of 100 ohms. You can check your resistors using a multimeter to get the exact value, but since I'm just interested in a simple circuit, I won't bother. Next comes the fun part, putting together the circuit. If you have a breadboard, your first step should be to connect the positive and negative terminals of the battery along the red and blue strips, respectively. This will power the entire strip. The little strips in the middle, however, run from side to side, not up and down. So next, we can take our LED, connect the shorter leg to ground, and the longer leg to one of the free rails on the interior. The longer leg is the positive end. Then take the resistor and connect one side to the same rail as the positive end of the LED and the other side to any other free rail. The final step is to connect the positive side of the 6 volt battery to the free resistor rail. And in order to do that, I'm going to use one of my cables, but you could just plug the resistor into the positive rail and skip this final step, but I'm going to do it just for simplicity. And lastly, I unplug the positive end of the battery just in case. So once your circuit is finally set up and you've plugged in all of your cables, you can reconnect your six volt battery and there you've done it. The circuit is complete and your LED is working. One final thing we should do for consistency is redo our current calculations. So this time, our unknown becomes current, and our Ohm's law equation becomes I equals V over R, which is just 6 volts over 1000 ohms. And after a quick second of thought, you should realize that the answer is just 6 milliamps, which is 6 shifted over 3 decimal places because you're dividing 6 by 1000. So there you have it, folks. 
That is how you do some basic circuit calculations and how to light up an LED using a 6 volt battery and a 1000 ohm resistor. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, share it with a friend and like the video. Also, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and informative videos about engineering, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have yourselves a wonderful day.